Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So I thought I would have a look at the Star Trek uh, Crypto Space Commander Picard event. So Crypto Space Commander is a blockchain game been in development, uh, getting on for two years now, currently available on Steam um, as an um, early access build. Um, and they've, they've done one Star Trek uh, event before called um, Divergence, and they sold a bunch of NFTs, and now they're back for a second one. This is on based on Picard, the uh, TV series. I'm not a Star Trek fan, but um, uh, obviously it's a kind of an iconic sort of uh, IP. And what they're doing is they're selling um, some NFTs. So uh, there's also some crates. They do this kind of crate sale, and actually quite a lot of the revenue, more of the revenue comes from the crate sale than the NFTs, interestingly. Um, what's currently being sold is this tactical cube. So this is a, um, a Borg tactical cube. Uh, we can see some stats about it. There's some game stats here um, about how much cal cargo it can carry and this sort of stuff. Uh, we're going to have a look at the auction. So it's going to be... Oh, no, I want to confirm a bit. Aha, <laughs> wrong button. So I can view the auction history. It's going to be live until the 18th of June. So um, 8.5 ETH at the moment. So just over $2,000. So so pretty small fry. Um, we can see the first, uh, the first uh, ship in the Picard. Uh, NFT sale um, was this one, sold for $6,400, uh, 6, um, which in some ways seems like a lot. Um, and it kind of made me think I should go back and have a look at um, what's been happening in the Star Trek uh, kind of NFT sales, because the original um, event was back in September 2019. So I pulled out some stats um, to have a look, and I think we'll just quickly go in and have a look and see if we can draw any conclusions. So I've pulled the data and, as ever, stuck it in a graph. So what's going on here is you can see um, there are there were six um, NFT auctions in this Divergence event, uh, and there are two so far that have been sold in the Picard event. I think this one, this Destroy one, is actually formally not probably part of the Picard one, but it's sold um, pretty close to it, so I've so put that one in. Um, what we can see clearly um, is uh, there was one very big sale, so over $30,000. This is in dollars on the vertical scale. Um, obviously, the uh, ETH value has been uh, converted into into fiat um, at the time it was the the auction finished. So, a bit difficult to see probably, but um, the the first one that was sold was was I guess what we'd say the classic um, USS Enterprise, um, and then the one that sold for about fifteen thousand. Then there was up to thirty thousand for this um, kind of uh, the D model. So it's just a, it's not the classic um, Star Trek. Um, uh, and then we have these other ones. We have different sorts sorts of ships selling um, uh, different levels. I mean, another one here, fifteen thousand. Um, and then we have, uh, in terms of Picard, we have the uh, Enterprise E version. So this is the kind of updated version of, of Enterprise for the Picard event. And that actually, we can see here, didn't actually sell for very much at all, relatively. Um, so there's no real conclusions to draw. I'm going to be looking at these NFT auctions. Um, so as well as the ball cube, there's another. Um, there's a couple, of, two more, two more ships um, that are for sale. Well, the interesting thing to point out, however, though, is that in the divergence event, what the developer Lucid Site did was did what they call a Dutch auction. A Dutch auction is you start at a price and the price keeps dropping, and then someone kind of comes in. Um, so one person comes in and just buys it at, at the price. So. That's interesting, and there's different psychological um, behaviours driven by these sort of things. Um, and obviously, you know, any auction, there's a kind of the, the fear of missing. I guess the fear of missing out is 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 more strong in a Dutch auction because the price is dropping, and if, as soon as someone comes in and buys it, then then the whole thing's over. Um, in, in a traditional auction, is what we're seeing here is you start the price starts effectively starts off at like you know what zero or, or very small amount, and then people bid up. Um, and what's interesting, I think, from my point of view, is Lucid Site has has swapped. So these were all done; these blue ones were all done during uh, with a starting price, then dropped. And these red ones are starting with zero and going up. Obviously, the, the, that kind of auction um, is a different mechanic, and and you can have a. It works well because it's or if you're selling something because it's if you get various people involved, then you get aggressive aggressive bidding against um, each other. So so I bid a hundred dollars, you bid one hundred one dollars. I bid one hundred fifty dollars, you bid one hundred fifty one dollars, um, until basically people. Um, price each other out the market and, and the person who buys it probably overpays uh, compared to what they were rationally would have thought um, because people get obviously passionately involved and they, they want to win the thing particularly it's important for NFTs. so it'll be interesting to see um, it does 
because we haven't really seen any increase in price here for this um for this enterprise version you know, it's obviously sold at much lower prices than than the first ones did it doesn't make me think that the auction probably you know these may have sold at a higher level if you had if you had bidding auctions rather than decreasing auctions um so they may have missed a trick there but it does seem to be that uh that kind of over time the kind of propensity of people to bid for nfts probably has gone down so in 2019 we saw a lot of nfts we had the f1 delta time uh, game in particular um with some of the highest uh, the most expensive nfts being sold there in this kind of formula one kind of car game um that game has has not really since come out there has been a form of it coming out but obviously or not obviously but it's been hit i think by covid19 and the formula one season being um kind of uh on pause um, but equally people were spending a lot of money on these nfts and then there wasn't any resale so actually csc in general has seen some decent resale values of nfts but not of these particular auctioned nfts so that's the, the interesting thing here so i do kind of wonder um what we'll see we'll see as, as these little red uh, lines uh, these little red bars appear for the um the ball cube next and and then we'll better take a more kind of a uh, uh, a more full approach to to, to a more, more get a get a more kind of fuller view to, to what's happened. I do think it is interesting um, that that I think over time um, these very big NFT sales for products that are not quite finished yet and don't really have economics are are probably going to be seen a bit like um, ICOs were. Um, ICOs were very much seen as a as a thing for 2017, 2018, early 2018 at least. Um, NFTs then sort of came in after that, and NFTs are very strong, obviously, in some aspects of. Uh, blockchain projects, uh, particularly art, is very big with NFTs. We've seen a big uptick with crypto uh, crypto punks, should say, in 2020, and we, and we continue to see a lot of sales of land in uh, kind of metaverse uh, projects, a bit uh, uh, like the central land um, and uh, crypto voxel and things like that. So we, we're not seeing the end of NFTs, but we are, I think, seeing a winding down of these very expensive, high-profile NFTs for games. Could be wrong. We will wait to see what Crypto Space Commander comes up with over the next um, few weeks. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. We are Blockchain Gaming World, where we spend inordinate amounts of time uh, trying to play blockchain games and thinking about the economics uh, that underpins them, which I think is the most interesting thing about blockchain games. Um, so uh, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, please do subscribe to the channel. But thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.